uh, just his knowledge of the defense and you know his he really I mean I would feel comfortable starting Chris and playing Chris all year and so having him back next year um, is going to be a big thing for for our group and that that leadership and just knowledge that he has helping those young guys that'll have to play. You guys prepared so well last year and had a good performance. Do you, do you sense any similarities this year? Do you like how, how it looks compared to last year? Yeah, I think our practice has been good. Guys are buying in, and that's the big thing in these bowl games is is guys wanting to play. And so I feel that's that's our group. They want to play, and I think we'll go out and play well. I know you can't talk about specific guys, but you know Dedrick got here early in the bowl. Him yes. Out. I mean, how big a deal is that? It's a big deal. It gives you a real chance because uh, it's hard to, to come in as a in the fall and truly, you know, put yourself in a position because you're learning everything at once. You know, the biggest thing for Dedrick was having that spring to learn, make mistakes, and then be able to work on it all summer and, and fix it. So that's it's big. What does it mean when one of your guys, Cornell Jefferson, gets scout team MVP? I think it's great because usually in our experience, if they're good on scout team, they end up being good players. And so I, I think it's, it shows a lot about the kid and showing up and it's because scout team's hard and working every day. I think it says a lot about it. What, what stands out of you been able to work with him here in December and what you heard from the coaches on scout team? Uh, he's, he's just got a, he's got a nose for the football. He's got a knack of finding the football, which is a skill that is hard to teach. You know, you kind of have it or you don't, and he seems to have it, so that's a good thing. How uh, have some of those other young linebackers come along this uh, this year? I guess Simmons did come back from yep. his injury or whatever uh -huh. you want to call it, uh, and then push on to practice. Yeah. Muhammad, how how uh, Tyron, how do how you do? Uh, you know, with Greg, he's really changed his body. You know, he, he's he's cut some of the you know weight and some of the things. So now we can spend this off season really building him back up. So that's a positive thing. He's moving better. Uh, Muhammad is is continuing to grow. He's doing a lot of really good things. I mean, he's going to be a guy, if he keeps going, that's going to push people for their spot next year. Um, and then Tyron, uh, we're, we're kind of finding that out now because he, you know, we redshirted him this year, and so he took some time off. So he's kind of getting back into it. These, so these practices will be big for him and in getting back into it to give himself spring to really show what he can do. Is he is he kind of in the mix of middle linebacker? Uh, we'll Outside. see. It kind of, kind of depends on where he can help us best and, and where other guys fit as well.